Coming up on today's show, we got some ridiculous rumors to get to out of Pittsburgh as the Steelers Mafia is trying to suggest that Tyler Lockett could be on his way to Pittsburgh, team up with Russ. We'll show you what they're saying out there in Pittsburgh, react to it, coming up in just a bit. Also, a clear favorite has emerged for the Seahawks first round pick at 16 overall. We'll tell you who that is. Give us some analysis and thoughts, all of that coming up in just a matter of moments. If you're excited for the NFL draft, prove it. Our rallying cry here on Seahawks today is when we spam S in the chat for Seattle for the Seahawks. We love to do that to get our 12s fired up and really just show our support for your Seattle Seahawks. If you're ready for the draft, make your voices heard loud and clear. Spam S in the chat and we'll get started with today's show. So the Steelers media mafia out in Pittsburgh is trying to push this ridiculous, straight-up ridiculous narrative that Tyler Lockett could get traded to Pittsburgh to join his former teammate Russell Wilson, who is expected to be the new starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And you guys know very well that Tyler Lockett has made it known that he does not want to go anywhere that he does not want to play for anyone other than the Seattle Seahawks. But that has not stopped the fake news mainstream media in Pittsburgh from trying to push this idea that Lockett could be a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's one example. This is Alan Saunders of Steelers. Now, Lockett just restructured his deal with the Seahawks this offseason, which would make a pre-June 1 trade costly to Seattle. If they traded Lockett now, that would incur a $27.8 million dead cap hit and cost the Seahawks an additional $8.9 million cap space on top of what is slated to cost. But if they waited until after June 1, a Lockett trade would only have a $13.9 million dead cap hit this season while saving Seattle's cap in 2024, $5 million in room. To the Steelers, Lockett would be a bargain with just $4.67 million in guaranteed salary and $340,000 in roster bonuses. Let me be very, very clear. Tyler Lockett is not getting traded. He isn't going anywhere, and he damn well isn't going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I would be sick to my stomach if I saw Tyler Lockett not just leave Seattle and play for somebody else, but play for the damn Pittsburgh Steelers. We're still not over Super Bowl 40 over here, okay? Let alone the idea of him joining Russell Wilson, who betrayed the CLC Hawks as is many years ago, and letting them do their thing in Pittsburgh. No, absolutely not. Hell no, this ain't happening, and we're not letting the Steelers media, mafia, fake news, drive-by media try to push this narrative and think that they're going to get away with it and turn this thing into happening. It's simply not happening. Lockett restructured his contract to a two-year $29.66 million deal. He turns 32 years old during this upcoming season, and he is coming off a down year. There's no secret that Tyler Lockett is not what he was a couple years ago. There's no denying that. Uh, that he is on the back end of his prime, sure. And JSN is going to take an increased role, and he could be the team's number two receiver next year. But that doesn't mean that Tyler Lockett still doesn't bring value to this Seahawks team. Last year, he was still solid. 79 catches, nearly 900 yards, five touchdowns last year. I will gladly keep Tyler Lockett on my team, and I'm not letting him go away to the Pittsburgh Steelers and taking on that big cap hit. Not only does it make, not make sense from a football standpoint, it doesn't make any sense from a financial standpoint either, and you're not going to get much from Tyler Lockett in a trade, maybe at best a fifth-round pick. Should the Seahawks trade Tyler Lockett to the Steelers? I'm giving you two options here. You can either type N for no, or you can type HN for hell no. What do you guys think? Pen comment today, in for no, H in for hell no. Let us know what you think. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks, the place to go for daily fantasy made easy. Here's how it works choose two or more players on any given category, get the choice of more or less. Whether you're talking rebounds in basketball, goals in hockey, home runs in baseball, maybe you'll want to look ahead to the start of the NFL season. 
And I got one for you. DK Metcalf. DK. Touchdowns all day. He rules. I got DK having more than 1,025.5 receiving yards this season. I got Lamar Jackson having more than 3,600.5 passing yards. If both those hit and we put $20 down, we're making $60 on Price Picks. Play along with me. PricePicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS for a $100 deposit match on your first entry. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Play along on Price Picks with us today. You'll be glad you did. All right, let's shift gears now, talk draft. There are at least seven mock drafts from the experts that we know of that are all predicting that the Seattle Seahawks will select Washington offensive guard Troy Faltanu with the number 16 overall pick. Here are some of the examples out there. ESPN's recent mock draft with Mel Kuyper and Phil Yates, CBS Sports, Peter Traeger with NFL Media, USA Today, another from NFL Media, another from CBS Sports. Even Nick Wright, who tends to get things wrong a lot, uh, which is pretty ironic with his last name, even he thinks that the Seahawks are going to go this direction here. Now, with that said, there's a lot of different things the Seahawks could do when it comes to the 16th overall pick. Um, You know, we've heard the rumblings about... Okay, if they go offensive line, is it Faltanu or is it Jackson Powers Johnson? Do they go potential edge rusher like, let's say, a Jared Verse? Does Dallas Turner fall to them? What about Brock Bowers? Does he potentially fall at 16? All sorts of possibilities out there. But at the end of the day, if the Seahawks are smart and go ahead with Faltanu, then it makes a ton of sense that they go forward with this and – I like it personally for the Seahawks to, to go this route, to go with uh, Troy Faltano as far as that goes. Now, uh, one idea that is uh, being brought about is exactly what the Seahawks need. And Phil Yates mentioned this possibility of Byron Murphy recently. Uh, this would be the contrarian idea. If it's not Troy Faltano, what's the next best option? Phil Yates brought this up a while back, said Seattle needs to hammer the interior of the defensive line at some point early in the draft, and Murphy is the best defensive tackle in the class. He is explosive as a pass rusher, and he plays with power, torque, leverage, and in the running game. So, I am of the belief that it is likely to be one of the two, Troy Faltano or Byron Murphy. If you had to put a gun to my head right now, it would be one of those two. Let's ask you about Faltano, though. Should the Seahawks draft Troy Faltano? Type D for draft, P for pass. Way in the comment section, let us know what you think. Folks, we are getting close to 52,000 subscribers here on Seahawks today. We are just under 600 away from reaching that next milestone. We'll be live next week for the NFL Draft right here on the channel. Me and Smitty, we're going to have a great time on Thursday night. We will see you then for the latest happenings in your favorite team all offseason long, including right here in the lead-up to the draft. you got to subscribe to the channel. Lock us in now. We got you covered. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. Here's the thing. When it comes to Faltano, compared to some of the other guys we've talked about, he starts day one, right? I know what some of you are thinking, like, is he a guard? Is he a tackle? I don't care what he is. He is going to find a spot in this offensive line in some way, shape, or form. You got Charles Cross at your left tackle spot, but that seems to be the only guarantee at this point. Um... If he plays guard, he'll certainly compete with Tomlinson and Bradford. He would take one of their jobs. There's also a possibility that we don't know about Abraham Lucas's future. How much is that knee going to hold up? Could he start at right tackle and move Abraham Lucas to a guard spot? Do you move on from Abraham Lucas potentially? No matter what, Troy is going to be a starter for the Seahawks team if they do opt to go ahead and choose him there with their pick. We mentioned First team, all Pac-12 selection. Pac-12 Offensive Lineman of the Year. Mel Kuyper's got him as the number one offensive guard in this year's draft. And I got to tell you, when I look at Faltano, I love the scouting report of what they have to say about him as well. As this is somebody that is very good athletically speaking. We'll go to the scouting report here in just a second, but I want to show you some numbers when it comes to Faltano here. Overall grade, not earth-shattering, 75.1, allowed two sacks, three hits, 18 hurries, and six penalties. But this, for me, is a lot to do with 
picking for potential here. As you're got a guy, we mentioned a good athlete, can play guard or tackle either one. He'll find a way to work with what the Seahawks are trying to do. He can deliver those jarring blows to the defenders that he faces. Uh, he's agile. He's quick and pass pro. He does what he needs to do. He maximizes his length. Size matters, folks. He is inconsistent with his set points at times. But overall, the, the question I think then becomes, is this the sexy pick that the Seahawks could be making? No, no. I mean, it's, it's not the elite franchise quarterback. It's not the star receiver. Okay. But I think you can be satisfied with this pick and feel like, all right, we got this taken care of. It was a big need. Now where do we go from here and take that next step? I can be okay with that. Now, let's ask you, who's a player the Seahawks should draft? Whether it's Troy Faltano or whether it's somebody else, weigh in the comments section, give me a name that comes to mind that you would like to see the Seahawks draft. Weigh in, let us know what you think, and we shall see you next time right here on this edition of Seattle Seahawks Today.